Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Got a great story about the housing market, but I'm, I first want to explain, this is the kind of information that is great when you see shocking numbers coming out, but it's not what you expect. It is the, um, let's just tell you the title, Shocking Housing Starts Data. Economists are blown away by 11 Sigma B after the biggest monthly surge on record. They're referring to housing starts. We're going to talk about this story, but I want to under explain something. As we move into this housing crash and we are already in it. I know it sounds crazy and most people can't understand that because we have a housing shortage, but we don't. It's all fake. It's the exact same housing shortage that existed in 2004 to 2005. It was literally two events that happened. Interest rates came down and after a long period of time of people like myself buying and selling homes, flipping, making money, watching the, uh, the uh, things go up, what happened was people that had no concept or reality of the housing market or housing cycles, they were watching people and then they decided to dive in. But when they dove in was when the Federal Reserve started raising rates and they had that FUD, that fear of missing out, um, that not FUD, the, the FOMO, the fear of missing out uh, syndrome. And they started to chase home prices and home sales. Uh, ex, you know, if they didn't explode, velocity actually slowed down as people like myself exited. That was the time to leave the housing market, right? That little blow off top, I didn't care about that. I cared about being able to liquidate my homes. And at certain points of, of liquidating my portfolio of homes, I was like marking stuff down to where I was only making 5,000 bucks a house. And it was sitting on the market for like 90 days. It was like you doing everything we could, uh, creative marketing to get rid of these homes because I knew that I was going to have literally a quarter of a million or half a million dollar paperweight on my hand. And that was back then. Now, that exact syndrome is happening right now, but it's already now, it's sort of ending now. The crescendo is ending where uh, people that watched a lot of people making money in housing started to hear and see news articles saying, hey, housing's getting more expensive. Hey, mortgage rates are going up. Hey, if you don't do it now, you're never going to be able to. And they dove in. And now, and most people equate building and construction, new construction, they equate it with a healthy economy and a healthy housing market. It's absolutely the total uh, opposite. In 2004 and five, when we were topping and I started selling my real estate in mid 2005, 2006, I was friends with lots of construction company owners. I had, that's, that was the place I was in. I was flipping homes. These are the people I hung out with. I knew tons of contractors. They all lost their butt and they were all building at the very end to the bitter end they were building. And they hadn't started, most of them hadn't started until they were reading the news headlines. I talk about this in the real estate crash course, why it's so important to look, put these time markers. They're always the same. They're always the same. And they can save you so much time, uh, effort and money, lots and lots of money if you buy at the right time and if you sell at the right time. Nobody's telling you this. I, I, um, I was the only one, I'll try and find it and link it, you know, at the end of this video, uh, put in a video. I was the only one that was calling for commercial mortgage uh, uh, back securities collapse and that that was gonna take down the banks. Nobody was talking about it because very few people understand the cycles, all right? So let's read this and, and explain a little bit better of what I'm referring to here. Um, after two months of disappointing, declining housing starts and permits, understandable with mortgage rates around 7%, the May data was a shocker. After a modest revision to the April data in May, both housing starts and permits exploded higher in a move that has stumped economists and strategists. Beginning home construction soared 21.7%. Now I have a very logical, real answer to why this is going on, okay? And I actually know this from some insiders, so I'm gonna explain that in a second. Um, and this uh, soared 21.7% to 1.63 million annualized rate. And you can see this chart right here uh, going back to 2016, 2015, you can see all these green lines, red lines. And this is what they're referring to right here is this spike. And you see this spike, this is higher than what we experienced in um, uh, 2020, okay? When everything like the spring of 2020, when a bunch of contractors decided and construction companies, let's start building homes, all right? And remember, I also want to remind you that is exactly when home uh, mortgage rates started to go up was the spring of 2020, all right? Now, uh, I'm sorry, not 2020, it was 2021. So it was before that uh, event. Now it says here, the 291,000 increase in housing starts was the biggest monthly increase in actual units on record and was the biggest percentage increase since October of 2016, reflecting gains of three in three of four US regions. It said drilling down into single family and multifamily uh, projects 
May saw a 156,000 or 18.5% increase in single family units to 997,000, the highest since June of 2022. Now, let me explain what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, an insider contacted me um, and said he has a, a very good friend that owns a massive fund. And what they are doing is they are buying large chunks of homes from Lennar, Toll Brothers, and other builders. We're talking 500 homes at a pop. And what is happening is, uh, and then I have also a insider at Lennar that told me that he has been talking to big people in Lennar. He's actually pretty up there as well. And they have decided that they are going to build these cookie cutter homes that are so cheap. They're going to drill down, buy, build homes at the cheapest rate, and they're going to sell them for the cheapest amounts. Now, what they're not, what you will need to put the two stories together now. What's happening is, these big home builders are buying these, building these cookie cutter uh, homes, selling them the funds that are using your pension money. And you're not, and I want people to understand, you're not going to see the benefit from that. Sure, um, they may go under a little bit longer, the claim insolvency. What's happening is they want to turn these into rentals. They want to make this nation a nation of renters. Now, here's the good news about this. They were wrong in 2004, Okay. We're talking about the same type of personality, hedge fund owners, uh, managers. We're talking about the same type of behavior, We're talking about construction owners, company owners, contractors, things like that, right? And developers, they were all wrong in 2004. They're all gonna be wrong again. We are literally repeating the exact same pattern of 2006, 2008 right now. But right now we are in 2008. I know that sounds crazy. We are collapsing. We're seeing these these data points, literally like a mirror image, but the time compression is actually happening right now. We are literally compressing in time. And I know that's hard for people to understand, but as we ramp up, I get ready for this foreclosure class. I am so excited about this. It's insane because you are going to witness me going and putting my money in the foreclosure market. And I'm going to be explaining, but there's going to be a lot of patience involved. I'm not just going to dive in to one or two. I'm going to start buying these on foreclosure because foreclosures are picking up now um, right in front of you on the channel. And I get to teach you as, so this is a type of foreclosure purchasing that I have never done going straight to the banks. I've seen the REO side as a real estate agent and I've purchased REOs as an investor, but I've never went straight to the bank through the auction. That's the first line of the sale. Uh, where I did it was the last line. That's what most people do. Very few people buy at these public auctions. Very few. Uh, the last one that uh, we we uh, went to and, and filmed was last week, and there was only like 15 people in there. So, and they're free to go to. So, I'm going to start bringing people to these shows. It's going to be really cool. Um, we're going to take it by storm, quite frankly, and we're going to make uh, foreclosure auctions famous. But the facts of the matter are, right now, it's saying economists are stumped, but there are people like myself that are not stumped. And the reason why is because I've been through this before. And we're going to go through it again, but it's going to be more spectacular. So these are the days to prepare and not be scared of, you know, missing out because you're literally watching the people that are jumping in right now. And they're saying, look, mortgages are going down. They're down one tenth of a percent. That is nothing. That is a joke. But they are, that's the media trying so desperately or the National Association of Realtors trying so desperately to get you to do something, either buy or sell real estate. We need velocity. It's collapsing. And so you just watch that and grin and go, my day is coming. My day is coming. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. I'm going to put a link to uh, that video down below. And I'll also, the one about the, uh, I think it's very important people realize how long I've been calling this and now it's happening. And just get ready because it's going to drain in, dump into the residential market. Guys, I hope you have a great day. The Economic Ninja is out.